Well, this can mean only one thing. You see those ears flopping? See that hustle in the step? <sighs> well, okay, it could mean a few things, but <laughs> in this case, it means he found a ship. And because Argo is not content with just doing the normal, he found two. Okay. <laughs> well, the first ship here is none other than the Queen of the Lakes, the Paul R. Tregurtha. Right there, and that horn you heard was them. They'll be getting underway. Of course, heading upbound here. She is called the Queen of the Lakes because she is the longest ship on the Great Lakes. I think at 1,017 and a half feet, I think. And this, let me zoom back in here again. That's a new addition, that camera up there. I don't remember seeing that before. It's possible I just missed it, but it seems unlikely. And then, uh, it's always nice to have something for scale, human for scale. And it's important to note, there's about 20 feet of ship under the surface of the water. So uh, yeah, she's a big one, <laughs> a really big one. And I will zoom out here to turn because I said Argo found two. He found two footers. It's kind of a long shot here. There is the Edwin H. Gott. And they're uh, loaded. Downbound. And they're tied up. Waiting for the queen to pass by so they can then enter the lock. So I'm facing right into the wind right now. So I'm hoping the wind isn't too bad. Really quickly, if you hear that ticking sound in the background. That's that. On that flagpole there. Yep. That's what it is, so. Yes. Edwin H. Gott has the most horsepower, biggest engine on the Great Lakes. Paul Trigurtha is the biggest on the Great Lake. So, kind of have two titans here. <laughs> That's uh, one way to put it. She's kind of got uh, everything moving now. I do not remember that camera being up there before. I think I want to... Oh, there we go. I want to buggy on down here just a bit. As you can see, spring is in full effect here in the Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Today is the 19th of May. And uh, this is like the quiet before the storm <laughs> because tourist season is fixing to kick off here in just a few weeks. So. I don't have anything against the tourists. I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. This place just becomes very busy. So. But I want to get a queen up here past the lake or the lock. So. The spot up here between the trees, which was a great spot uh, two winters ago there was so much snow piled up here I could stand on the snow and just be above the level of the fence so that was really handy we didn't have that this last winter because we had so little snow but all right I think this seems like a nice spot 
I'll zoom in here. So yeah, she has uh, 20 feet. You can see the marks there. Almost 21 feet of ship beneath the surface of the water there. So. She's kind of hard to get in the frame because she's so big. I'm going to scoot on down just a little bit more. I know a few people that are really big fans of the Polar Trigertha. Well, okay, to be fair, a lot of people are really big fans of the Polar Trigertha. But I was wanting to get a little better picture, less obscured. Kind of wish we could get rid of that control arm since they're not using them this year. But <laughs> oh well. There we go. That's about. I can't fit her anymore. <laughs> That's it. All right. Here's the lakes. Let me buggy on down here. I think maybe right here. I might be able to get an angle. Oh, kind of obscured. That's what Nate's got. What do you think? Should I? I think I will. <laughs> Someone's got the wiggles. <laughs> oh, silly dog. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna boogie on down there. I'm gonna try to catch the queen and the got down here. We'll see, she's going pretty quick. So we'll be back. I might be breathing hard, but we'll be back. Might I interest you in some Alfredo? <laughs> oh, okay. I think we're gonna make it. There's the bridge. Here's the gut. You can see them. Whew. I didn't quite have to run, but uh, that was some speed walking. And there was a little marmot of some kind, like a ground chuck, rock chuck, whatever the difference is, that uh, scaled the tree to get away from Argo. So I, he about pulled my shoulder out of socket for that. <laughs> Old punk. He just can't resist. Something runs. He just can't, can't not chase it. So, looks like we have a few people here to greet the queen. And it is uh, fairly breezy. We're downwind. Not so much here, but the other side of the bridge was downwind of the steel plant. Okay. Whew. That was a little bit of a hustle. Okay, that was a lot bit of a hustle. I don't know if that's really good speaking or not. Ah, so. If you see the water, you see it spraying there and flowing over the sides of the gut. I just learned about this. So the sprinklers up there in the middle of the, the deck, <laughs> because when it's sunny and warm, the metal will expand and the ship will tend to bow upward in the middle because 
the, the metal on the deck expands while the metal underwater doesn't. So the, the bow and the stern can sit lower than in the middle of the ship. So they use those sprinklers to cool the metal down, keep it from expanding so the ship doesn't bow up in the middle. I just learned that just a few days ago. So that's like a perfect, perfect timed example of that. Let's see if I can get down here. Luckily I'm tall, so I can stick my phone up here. Here we have the two Titans, as I've called them, meeting here. So you can see the height difference because the Polar Trigurtha is in ballast, so they're running about 20 feet of ballast. And the Gott is loaded, and it looks like they're running about 27 feet um, underneath the water there. So, I mean, the Queen is big, but she's not necessarily always that much taller than the Gott. This is cool. I feel like I keep missing the God and the Queen this whole season. I'm gonna catch them both at the same time. I will. Uh, I'll ask how you think this sits on the rules for two fur. The God isn't moving, but it's not powered down either. So. I will uh, defer to you and if you feel this is a legitimate twofer or not. I want to zoom in on that. Reminds me of this, the kind of camera they use on the Streamtime Live. You know, a pan tilt zoom camera. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to have one up there. It really does. I don't know how well I'll be able to do this. Ooh. You see, oh, oh. there's someone there on the gut. Yeah, they got that door hatch, whatever, open. And they're just enjoying the view, probably getting some fresh air, some cool air maybe. Zoom out a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's a super cool. Like, this is all my zoom out. And the queen is so close because she's passing. You know, like, I mean, she's big. She looks really big right now. That is super cool. It really does look like she doesn't clear the bridge by much, huh? Wow. <laughs> I'm sure it's not as close as it looked, but whew. It'd be super cool to get a salute right here, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Technically they can pass the bridge. I always think it's cool how, I think it's like a conference room Right there, those windows you see, you know, just below the uh, 
I guess the pilot. I don't know what you call that. The control level. <laughs> I don't know. That's cool. It's pretty windy. Uh, we have some uh, some weather coming in. We're supposed to have rain for the next three days. So definitely trying to enjoy the sun while it's here. And that big ladder you see right there going up the side. That is so uh, they can get back on the ship for whatever reason they need to like the line handlers go over for whatever reason. That's how they get back up. Those ladders are extended down and that's how they reboard. Oh, I know this doesn't come through, but I can feel the ground from the Paul Archigurtha's propellers. I can feel that in the ground. It's a very low, like, like a deep bass sound. Get a nice, nice shot. Of that uh, that royal rump there. That boat booty. Downwind of her now. Argo's trying to lay down and I have the leash in my left hand, which is the same hand holding the camera. Alright, here we go. So, and the gut is actually underway. Let me zoom in here again. Sorry. Sorry, you can see the uh, prop wash there. I don't see her moving, but they definitely have the engines <laughs> engaged. So that definitely counts as a two for props are spinning, that's definitely a twofer. I wonder if they kicked on the, uh, the engines to help counteract some of the push from the queen there. Still don't see. She's moving. You see, she got a little bit more coming out the stack there. And there's that. Again, I can feel the got now in the ground. Oh, I think she's moving. Oh yeah, she's moving. Almost imperceptibly, she's underway. It's easier to tell. Oh, sorry, this is going to be Ooh. fast camera. Kind of easier to tell. Looking at the bow. Ooh, that wind is pushing on me. Okay. So, <laughs> this has turned into an extremely long video. Someone's impatient. You saw the ships. 
Now you want to go finish up the walk. There is a bit of a crowd here. See the two footers. But for us, it's time for us to go. So I was glad I was here on this Sunday. To, uh, to see this and to see the them sprinkling the deck which I just learned about so all right Edwin H. Gott and Paul R. Trigurtha safe travels to you both I'll see you soon won't we are go he doesn't even care he wants to go all right let's go <laughs> bye